record breaker week with two live staffers, four feet, and a whole lot of golf balls. All next on Live. And now, here are Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelo. September 18th, 2024. Hi, welcome, welcome everybody. It's a big, big day around here. A lot of, uh, a lot of hungover people <laughs> moving amongst you. You might want to keep it down. The headaches. We had a big night last night. Big, huge night last night. We celebrated phase one, phase one <laughs> of Art Moore's retirement celebration. Wow. Yes. Yes, on our great time. We yeah. had a the, the both of them did the most unbelievable party last night. Oh. And I you, appreciate uh, that. Was it a was it a one screwdriver or a two screwdriver? Two. two screwdrivers. Two screwdrivers. It, it could have been three or four. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. You never know. You left the table a lot. I saw that that glass getting filled up. Oh, yeah. While you were gone. Well, then maybe it was more than Maybe it was more than two. It was like being a bride, wouldn't you say, Art? You had to make the rounds at the table. I watched your salmon get cold. I watched your Sunday melt. And I thought, poor Art hasn't eaten or had anything to drink all night long because he was so busy um, being celebrated. And by being celebrated, that meant everybody making him get up and go to their table for a <laughs> round of photographs. Um, but I've got some pictures if you'd like to see. Would you like to see? Yeah. We went to the beautiful, beautiful uh, Time Warner Center mm. last night. And, I, and interestingly enough, uh, they were having the Penguin premiere, uh, premiere there last oh, night. The and yeah. so when Mark and I got queued up, into this line of We're like, limousines. Wow, a lot of people are coming to our retirement. I was like, East, East, I said, we invited Issa Rae and she showed up. <laughs> Colin Farrell is coming to Art Moore's retirement dinner. Never this is that. big even for us. Yeah. Right? So I was I knew very something excited. was wrong. So one of your very favorite restaurants is a restaurant within the Time Warner Center right. uh, called Porterhouse. And they took such good care of they us really last did night. Yeah. Um, and uh, a really incredible artist named a Ashley Longshore, who, wh whom I adore and I'm such a fan of her work, um, agreed to make this beautiful pop art art, an art of art. There's art with his art. Love the Gucci blazer. Gucci blazer, Gucci blazer the screwdriver. screwdriver in a mysterious <laughs> floating hand. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> here we all are, uh, let's see, there's Deborah O'Connell, our boss. Uh, sandwiched in between uh, my my personal bosses, Mark Consuelos and oh, Michael yeah, right. Gelman. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Art in the middle. Um, and then I want to give a shout out to Lauren Travlioni, my uh, my my chief of staff, staff. <laughs> my uh, head of the Joint Chiefs. Uh, she really threw the entire party together, and I got all of the credit, but it was really all of Lauren's hard work oh, that yeah. did it all. I got some credit, too. <laughs> I got, Mark got some credit, I got some and credit. I literally had to put him in the car, and I was like, don't worry about where we're going. You'll recognize it when we get there. I had no idea what was going on. Here. Here's Art and Deja. Oh, Deja. Oh. And mommy and daddy sandwiching their favorite son. And then, incredibly, the moon came out. The super moon came out. 
There's Deborah and Art outside. And right as the speeches began, right as the speeches began, the yep. moon began to yes. rise out of the window, and it was quite extraordinary. It's a shame that our speech had to interrupt the moon rising. <laughs> but we were very mindful yeah. of everyone's time. It was a beautiful night, Art. It was beautiful, very, beautiful night. Great to, uh, Thank you. to celebrate you. Great to celebrate you. As you know, I'm in a bit of denial. I know. Uh, last night, phase one of the intervention of not <laughs> letting you leave, we laid our foundation. I think we made a strong argument for why you should not leave, but we'll see how we oh, do. he's so out of here. I know. <laughs> Mark and I had a long I, talk. Yeah, we had a long talk. He's out of here. I'm happy for him. Um, hey, listen, uh, the weather's changing this week here. We had, we've had dry, beautiful weather the past couple weeks, um, but we need some rain. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah. It's going to be raining uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, and maybe Saturday and Sunday, just a little bit of sun, which is nice, but more, more uh, reasonable temperatures, more mild temperatures in the 70s. Um, are you all right with that? Not really. <clears throat> I think it's chilly in the 70s. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I love it. You can wear a jacket, you can wear a little sweater. Jackets and sweaters are overrated. Yeah. If it gets in the 60s, then you can start doing that. In the 70s, it's still going to get hot. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. Um, so there's a great article about aging, um, which I find so fascinating. More than 95,000 Japanese people are aged over 100 years old. Wow. Okay, so we need to move to Japan. <laughs> uh, how about this? Most of them are, wait for it, women. Uh -huh. <laughs> No Currently, Japan there. is home to the world's oldest living person, Tomiko uh, Ituka, who was born on May 23rd, 1908, and is 116 wow. years old. How about wow. that? That's a blue zone. She wow. still plays tennis and golf every day. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Maybe she does. I don't know. I've never... I can't be everywhere. Pickle, pickle, I'm hosting this show. Yeah, pickleball, yeah. Pickleball. I'm hosting this well, So what do you think it, what do you think it is? The, the diet probably has a lot to do well, with we it. Well, we saw that Blue Zone documentary, mm -hmm. and so the diets in these Blue Zones are, range quite... There, there's a big yeah. diversity in the diets. It's more what I think is the activity level. Sure. Um, and be able to stand up and, and get up and get down. Yes. And the sense of community. Community. People I think community. who congregate yeah. with other people live longer. It's a thing. And, you know, and I'm not going to, like, I love technology and I think cell phones are great. But more and more people are relying on their cell phones to be their friends and their sole source of congregation. And that's not it. It's the community, community. Sense that of is purpose. really the thing. Yeah, yeah a sense of purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping on this, uh, coffee can aid health. I feel like every few years we get one of these, right? Um, and then we get a few <clears throat> that then say, say the opposite. Moderate coffee consumption, moderate, can lower the risk of developing a combination of diabetes, stroke, and heart disease. <laughs> What's moderate? I don't know. Uh, um, I think it's three cups. Three cups. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Three cups. Okay. I used to have. I used to have three cups just in the morning. You, you know, would, and then you, I would have uh, double espressos yes. throughout the day. You used to be a wild man of caffeine. Caffeine, I love. Now I'm down to maybe, I probably do a cup, a cup and a half in the morning, and then I have a, was it a double at night? A double espresso at night? Is that, is that usually a, a double or a single? It looks like a double, You right? have a double, and then you go right to sleep. I go right which to sleep. Is fascinating. <laughs> it's fascinating to watch. Um, but I do feel like that woman from the movie Airplane where Mark's, like, now I'm like, would you like a... In the morning, I'll say to him, do you want another cup of coffee? And he's like, no, I'm fine. And then in my head, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Mark always used to have a second cup of coffee in the morning. Yes. And when I bring you a cup of coffee in the morning, uh, when we're getting ready, uh, sometimes I don't feel like a cup of coffee in the morning. And, and that I put freaks it down me and out. freaks her out. I go, where's your cup? And I'm he like, goes, I don't want I'm any like, coffee this morning. It's not scotch, it's just coffee. <laughs> I just don't, yeah, I don't know, something, something shifted. Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. What do you think that means? <laughs> Don't know. We should do some sort of therapy session to figure out why Mark no longer needs 800 cups yeah. of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Um, more supermoon photos uh, just that was to, It was just beautiful to, last night. Uh, this picture is coming from Osaka, Japan. I mean, that's this is where you want to see the supermoon. Wow. That's the spot to see it, honestly. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, so yeah. gorgeous. Um, Jim's controversial rule to ban members from filming themselves has sparked a global crackdown. An Aussie gym owner who controversially banned members from filming themselves working out as they has sparked widespread industry change as other fitness facilities around the world have followed suit. I love it. I mean, nobody really cares what you're doing in the gym. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> well, you, you think we should be able to film people in the in the gym? Or? No, I do. I yeah. do not. No, yeah. I'm agreeing with you. My nod was like a yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, I like I. He really needs that, that second cup of coffee. coffee. <laughs> now, I'm telling I, you, he's, he's no longer he's like off his in, game. <laughs> I, I'm like I, I. I think I. I shared my workout when we did the workouts here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I shared my workout, and people are like, uh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> no. What you're doing. When you know, I share my workout, people are fascinated. Yeah, well, because it's like. Because it's like dancing, it's like, bouncing. Uh, it's it's like, once a year. Yeah, dancing, it's not every day. Yeah, it's once. It's once every couple yeah. of years I yeah. share. Yeah, people were like not interested in what I was doing in the gym. They're like. I don't care. <laughs> they care. I thought it was pretty exciting. I thought it was riveting. <laughs> but it was not. Nothing's as riveting as Gelman's gym videos. Nothing. <laughs> no. I defy you to find anyone as interesting to watch in a gym as Gelman. I would call First it, of all, the it, breathing yeah. alone. I would call it like more fetish. <laughs> yeah. Niche, niche fetish. If, ne you wa yes. if you watch. Oh, interpretation. Yeah. yeah. Yes. A lot of breathing. A lot of hanging upside a lot of down. A lot of flexibility. Yeah. A lot of squatting. Yeah, a lot of that. Uh, are a there of poses. a lot of gym goers in the audience? No. Yeah. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so, how do you feel about, so if somebody is filming their workout and you're in the gym, does that affect you? Yes. Yes, it does. Tell me why. You have nothing to add. It's awkward. Just saying it. It's cringy. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's cringy. It's weird. Right. Oh, yeah. So you it's mean pri like if, if you're somehow in the shot? Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it, it, gyms can be intimidating. Yeah. 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 Those yeah. those are good points. We should have gotten her a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> She's an idol. She said up there. amazing things. <laughs> It's too bad that people are She's in a different candy. time zone over there. Yeah. She's in the upper deck. She's we'll get Jersey. her a microphone by the time this airs. Yeah. By the, 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 by the time her time zone hears it, she'll have a microphone on. Hey, on today's show, oh. Colin Farrell is here. Yeah. Yep. And the Golden Bachelorette. Joan Vasos is here. And Record Breaker Week continues with a real freak show. <laughs> Our very own Gelman and producer Jim Niebler are going to try to break the record. Listen to this, everyone. For the most golf balls picked up with feet by a team of two in one minute. So get ready. Massive. Get, uh, get ready, wiki get feet. Rec yeah, all you wiki, wiki feet, feet weirdos. <laughs> and you know who you don't are. Judge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not judging. <laughs> hashtag, uh, don't forget to tag Gelman, hashtag sexy feet, hashtag <laughs> only <laughs> feet. <laughs> hashtag, yes, only feet. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. Christina McQueen from Boardman, Ohio, who watches the show on WFMJ. She wants to stump me because it'll be the most exciting part of her day. <laughs> oh, Christina, I hope your day improves drastically. <laughs> How you doing there, Christina? I'm good. Good morning. Are you a big Ohio State fan? Uh, more or less. 
more or less. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I get it. All right, listen, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true. One is false. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is true. And if you stump me, you'll win this. Oh. You know, <laughs> I, actually, I, I actually pay attention to what the, the, she's going to win. It's really ridiculous. Yeah, I know. We make yeah. such a big deal over. It makes a big yeah. deal out of this. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you care. This is why you want constant praise at home. <laughs> He's like, I put the lid on the yogurt. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> then he expects, like, <laughs> applause. And I get none. Yeah. I get none. Okay. Here are your two statements, Christina. I went snorkeling for the first time in Mexico. Ooh. Or my husband and I ate lobsters on our first date. Oh. All right. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where did, where did you, where'd your husband uh, take you on your first date? Uh, he let me pick, and for some odd reason, I chose Red, lo red Lobster. You chose Red Lobster? Mm. I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. What else did you have? Um, well, we definitely filled up on the roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You know, um, if a guy takes a girl out and she eats a lot, Then you have to be a second date the before there's more stuff that happens. Right. Um, yeah, it was it was hard. I was just trying to stay classy the whole time. Okay. But um, I ended up cracking it, and some of the lobster meat went on in, and the little light fixture above us, and I don't know, some, for some reason, he still called me back. And then love, love, love was in the air. I guess so. Okay, um, tell me about snorkeling. Uh, All where, right, we went... Yeah, tell us about it. All right, we went to Cabo, and we took a little boat, mm -hmm. and it was fun. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, look. Um, I think you went snorkeling for the first time in Mexico. No, you're wrong. Oh, man. <gasps> you are wrong. exciting part of my day. <laughs> All right, you won that mug. You won the t-shirt. Yes. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time right. for great getaways. Yeah. Travel. Interpretive dance was brought to you by James Haliva from Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. Thank you. He meant it. Yeah. He meant it for sure. Now he listen to it. this. We have an exciting new trip being added to the wheel today. It's a two nights at the Walt Disney World Resort before a five-night Disney Cruise Ooh. Line vacation for four to the Caribbean aboard one of their newest ships, the Disney Destiny. 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 <laughs> Destiny, destiny, destiny. Deja, spin that wheel to see what else Christina's playing for. All right. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. It's Christina, you are playing for that new Disney trip I just told you about. It includes all meals and spa access. It's a prize valued at $14,500. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck, Christina. All right, Christina, earlier this week, we talked with David Muir. Who did David say was the first to call him after he was named the anchor of World News Tonight? Oh, yeah. Um, David... I am not sure. I'm going to probably guess. Okay. Um... I'm, I'm going to go with his mom. Oh. 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 
You know, technically, I'm, I'm sure his mom did call him. <laughs> But he didn't say that. Um, it was Diane Sawyer and Mike Nichols. Oh, goodness. I'm I sorry. Know, I know. That's all right. I won the mug. You won the mug. <laughs> Christina, listen, there's still exciting news. You're now entered into our grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage to Antarctica, valued at over $42,000. And now you and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a Typher Dome air fryer valued at approximately $500. So please pick a number between 1 and 175. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. I can't control everything. I don't know why he makes everyone stand up when they <laughs> I don't know. You want, oh, they want to see, you want to so see him. So the camera can see them. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Holy. Gilman, now you're teaching me how TV works. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, thanks for playing with us, Christina. When we return, Colin Farrell is here. Stick around. Still ahead on Live, we'll meet the Golden Bachelorette, Joe Bassos. We continue Record Breaker Week when Gelman tries to set a new world record. Coming up next, Colin Farrell. Together every week, please welcome the Catanacci family. Hi, girls. <laughs> Five minutes ago, they were perfect. <laughs> we were trying to figure out something to get the girls involved in during the day when, when they were out of school for COVID. And so it started with ice cream. I honestly, I could watch it all day. My, that was the most relatable woman to me on television. <laughs> on tomorrow's show, don't forget, Ava Mendez will be yes, here. Yes, and a performance by Callum Scott. And Record Breaker Week continues when Daiquiri the dog tries to break the record for the most socks removed by a dog in one minute. The number to beat is 21. Wait, more feet? More feet. <laughs> oh, this show is turning into a wiki feet freak show. <laughs> All right, everyone, he's one of Hollywood's most esteemed actors who captivates audiences with his incredible talent and versatility. Please welcome back to the show, Colin Farrell. Hey, hey, Good Colin, morning. we got so excited when we saw you jump out of the car to go to the Penguin screening last night because we thought you were coming to Art Moore's retirement dinner. Say, it was happy All right, yes, you're hanging up your spurs, really. man. <laughs> <laughs> Why so young? Why are you throwing in the towel so early? It's time. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Thank congratulations. You. How was your summer? Tell me about it. Summer was summer was busy. It was busy Where this were year. You? I was in Macau. Oh, Ooh, my God. Yeah, exactly. Macau. Ooh, I would never be in Macau, ever, <laughs> if it wasn't for work. There's What's loads of places. Like? A lot of casinos and things, it's right? It's the Vegas of the East. Okay. It has the biggest gambling revenue, ladies and gentlemen, of the world. Three times what Las Vegas turns over. They gamble there. There's not as many margaritas on the street. Uh-huh. Uh, and not as many, like, junk food places uh -huh. and stuff. But just they, just, they just get out of it. Yeah. Do you the table. gamble? We're not no. gamblers. Yeah, no. Back in the day like, in Vegas when I was a youngster, hi, yeah. Yeah. I might have put a few dollars at the blackjack table. But yeah, I wouldn't even know what to do there. Are there other things to do if you don't gamble? Shoot, move, shoot a movie. Shoot a movie. <laughs> yeah, that was, Those are my two that was options. It. I tried to run. I tried to get out and do a oh, run yeah, at night. but you're was, a marathoner, right? Well, I wouldn't say I'm a marathon. I've done one marathon. Oh, yeah, then sure. Why not? Thank you yes, very much for checking me. Yes, that counts. Yes, that does count. It's warm there, though, no? Hot, Mark, yeah. See, more than warm. Warm. It's uh, hot and humid. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like 96 degrees and 95%, 92% oh, humidity. It was brutal. So I tried to get out, yeah, and I was... <gasps> yeah. I, I couldn't, I yeah. couldn't deal yeah. at all. But you're running another marathon next... I'm going to do the Dublin Marathon on October 27th. Oh I said... 
Thank you. Uh, I said, you said, I yes. said do it. I didn't <laughs> yeah. say run it. Run it. I thought I'm going to do it. That do leaves it room for walking. I'll probably have to walk a bit because I haven't been getting the miles in, man. I'm yeah, just not there. Like, you've, been on, you've been working promotional tour. Yeah, so I just, honestly, you... I've dropped the ball. I, know, I went for a run around Central Park yesterday and I did 6K and... <laughs> <laughs> Only another, only another uh, 38 to go for the marathon. Yeah, I was in a heap by the end of it. Not only my hips, but I also had the munchies because of the amount of dope that you smell. Yes. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. everywhere. It's everywhere. No, Spliffs everywhere, everywhere, man. I had the, I swear, I, I did the mini bar when I got back to the It used to be like sewage smell. What is this? Yeah, but now, it's, now like, it's pot. It's the spliff, and I had to yeah. hit the, It's yeah. so nice. I know. I was they, getting a contact high when I was. Yeah, when I, know. I When I walk to exercise class, I walk in smelling you do. like <laughs> I just smoked yeah, a yeah, joint. Yeah. So, God and forbid, you go to the airport and the insane. sniffer dogs are there. Oh, no, they, they're immune to it now. Colin, yeah, yeah. So, when, you, when Colin Farrell is running around Central Park, <laughs> Do you get stopped? No, New York is great like that, man. <laughs> if just, anyone even, like, if just, anyone recognizes you, which they don't really, because you're just running and people are doing their own thing. Right. But if anyone does, they just... They're cool, right? Yeah. Every now and then, someone will walk by and they'll go, love your work. Yeah. And they're gone. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You amazing. nearly want to stop and say thank you, but they're gone. <laughs> like, uh, New York's great don't in that stop way. Em. Don't stop them. Yeah, my son, my son was talking about that this morning. He was saying there was a bunch of people that were looking at... I was getting a couple of pictures with somebody today, and he said a bunch of people walked by and they saw that I was getting pictures and they just kept walking. Great. It's great. New York. He said, you know, in L.A., they'd be stopping and wondering what's going on and then come over and, you know, it's, it's different here. And it's not unfriendliness. Like, no, New Yorkers they, they are some have, of the most friendly yeah. people in the world. Yeah, they have other stuff happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it's got the potential to revolutionize the drug business. Talk about disappearing into a character. That was a clip of you. That was you as uh, the Penguin in the TV series The Penguin. And uh, you're reprising the role as Oz Cobb, who played... You played Oz in The Batman, yeah. and this is the television spin-off yeah, so of your Matt, character. Yeah, so Matt Reeves, who wrote, yeah, Kelly, Matt Reeves, who wrote the Batman film with Robert Pattinson playing Bruce Wayne, Batman, um, he wrote the parts of Oz Cobb, the Penguin, those five or six scenes in the film, mm -hmm. and then we just thought there was, there was a lot more we could do with the character. Mike Marino designed such an extraordinary makeup that you saw there. Um, and it was fun to have eight hours of television to do it and to really get into his backstory yeah, and his history. And the show was really his rise through the ranks of the underworld and a, and a quest for power. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so funny. I remember uh, when I first saw you, our oldest son said to me, you know, that's Colin Farrell. And I said, no, it's not. Yeah, I mean, I was it's not, so yeah. steadfast in my belief that that, in fact, was not you. One well, of the few times you were wrong. One of the yeah. few times I was wrong. Yes. Right. How long did it take? Three Every, hours, Mark, in the morning. Three hours in the yeah, morning. And yeah, and it was cool time. I loved it. I loved because I loved the, the crew. There was the two mics, Stella, Val, Bobby did the hair, and um, Crystal. And I'd go into the makeup trailer in the morning. We had a penguin makeup trailer that was just us. Mm. And the coffee would go on. I'd have a shave, sit in the chair, clock would start, three hours. And Play then, music, have chats, read the then, script. It and was then lovely. Off, and then off? 45 minutes off at the end of the night. Wow. But so it was lovely. The three hours was a lovely kind of way for me to ease into the day and get my head into what was, what was coming up that Did day. Did you, you meditate? Because I would think having to It was a little bit meditative, that. that. Yeah, no, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. Maybe there's nothing going on in my brain. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Too much at times, but... Um, no, it was fine. It was really lovely time. I was very grateful for it. Was it, it very hot? It was hot. Yeah. So how do you stay cool? We had a cooling tent. Yeah, they had a I called the igloo for obvious reasons. The igloo. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and but they had three industrial AC machines that were piping in because my core temperature was hotter and I yeah. didn't want to lose a nose. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will. It will. Yeah, like, yeah. It will melt stop off. And yeah, it'd stop yeah, the day sure. really quick. Yeah, the makeup would bubble underneath if I got too hot. And they started off when we started shooting the shooting the show. They turned the AC on in the studio that we were shooting, but the crew were coming in looking like they were off to an Arctic expedition with scarves and gloves, and everyone was not happy with me. So, <laughs> so then they got the tent, and that was perfect. Yeah, you well, know, yeah. Uh, we're just, like, so impressed with everything you do. You're really... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People are very excited about this. Can't wait to check Thank it out. Thank the Penguin premieres tomorrow, Thursday, September 19th, on HBO and Max. Coming up next, The Golden Bachelorette. Stick around. Thank you. Tomorrow. Hey, welcome back. All right, get ready. She's on a journey. 
To find love again, please welcome the Golden Bachelorette, Joan Vasos. So everybody knows you from The Golden Bachelor. Yes. Um, uh, how, how did you get involved in that? Where were you? Like, I, I'm always curious about the castings, how people get involved in this. Seriously. So I actually was out to dinner with a friend. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of at the, about like the two-year anniversary of my husband passing away. And I was thinking to myself, like, I got to get back out there. Because mm -hmm. I'm not getting uh -huh. any younger. I'm not getting any prettier. Um, and I, like, loved being married. And I missed that, that feeling. So I went home that night after being out with her and seeing that everybody in the entire restaurant, they were all couples. Everybody was a couple. Really? And we like looked around and she's like, yeah, you're gonna have to do something. I don't know what. And um, and I had tried dating. I kept thinking people would set me up with somebody. Did you try apps, like the dating apps? I did, apps? it was awful, yeah. Yeah. I did, I, yeah. I did match.com, it was terrible. It was like a job. Right. So none of those things like felt like they were really working. So I went home and I sat down and I was always a Bachelor fan. I turned the TV on and they said, we're doing a casting call for this new show. If you're in your golden years and looking for love, um, fill out this application. I was like, the universe is speaking to me. So I filled it out, like on my phone. In fact, I even spelled my name wrong because I'm terrible, you know, texting. <laughs> yeah. I was Joan Bassos for a really long time with a B. Um, so I filled out the form, and then like things started happening. And then here wow. I am. Wow. Yeah. And so and so when you went through the entire process, like. You have children. Did they watch? Were they on board with this? Were they like, Mom, please? What are you doing? Well, you're embarrassing us. Yeah, they yeah. were like, this is mortifying. Probably like your kids would say. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, every day. Please don't do yeah. this. So they, like, I know they want me to be happy and to, you know, have somebody in my life, but they really didn't want me, like, kissing on TV and doing anything that could possibly. <laughs> and that is the truth. And my daughter is here. She'll verify Is that. she here? She's here. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, and my oh, goddaughter. Oh, she's hiding. She's oh, that's hiding. really funny. There's Hi. my daughter. <laughs> Ducking under the chair never works here. No. <laughs> no hiding, sweetie. Sorry. So the women, yeah. the women of the Golden Bachelors, they seem to develop a strong bond. But yeah. did you still keep in touch with oh them? Oh my gosh, every single one of them. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we have a group text with all 22 of us, Isn't and nice? if you don't look at your phone like 10 times a day, you're like 50 messages behind. We talk all the time. We get together in different cities. They're all a whole big chunk of them are going to be in Pasadena tonight to watch the premiere. Oh my gosh, they are so supportive. Of is yeah, I was gonna say, like, well, are they, like, are they, did you reach out to them during this process? Are they guiding you through this process? So more, I reached out, honestly, more, they're, like, so supportive, and, but, like, I kind of sought guidance from people that had been through this, like, lead role. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I talked to Gary, I talked to Jen, I talked to Charity, I talked to Trista from, like, a long time ago, yeah, like, the course. original yeah. Bachelorette. Right. Wow. I talked to them and asked them, like, what they did that they thought worked and what they did that they thought didn't work. I, like, I thought, I only have one chance to do this. I gotta do it right. Yeah. 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 So and now you are like you are officially the first golden bachelorette. That is so like funny. you have a <laughs> you have like your name cemented in. Thank you. Was there was there any hesitation in taking that? Yeah, like I did feel kind of like the weight of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There wasn't really any he hesitation because I thought this is such an amazing opportunity. Like I said, like dating was hard. It, I couldn't figure out the right way to do it. And I got like 24 hand-picked guys from like producers that kind of knew me from the last season. So they did a really good job of vetting people and seeing who might be a good match for me. So I didn't really hesitate, but I did feel the weight of it. I feel like they need to get me on board with the vetting process. <laughs> I, I actually they, do they need believe that like I you. should be involved. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to take a break. More with Joan, the Golden Bachelorette, when we come back. Yo, cướp bất thành. Thôi, về an phận đi. An phận đi đánh khỉ thôi các bạn ơi. Cướp là xấu nha không? không có cướp nha không? Ooh, ooh, 
u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u Bên đây, bên đây Rồi số 2 đến 1 Thấy các bạn hồi nãy nè à, 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 à. Rồi 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 Lăn xuống rồi lăn xuống rồi Ủa, 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 ủa. Trời 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 Ôi Mình đánh thấy ghê không Đánh nó văng vô chổng văng ra luôn một em Y hết rồi, hết rồi <cười> Rồi, tiếp tục lên nhận nhiệm vụ thôi Vòng lọc cứ vòng, 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 vòng Ê khoan Mình nhảy chỗ này lên mới siêu nè Đi đường vòng là xưa rồi Đó Quên có kiếm thì để hai ông già ông sợ Thôi qua bên kia đi Đi Bên đây có nhiều người pháo quá nè Ủa 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 ủa